And we are back here once again with another episode of the Cloud9 Podcast Season 11, Episode 2. So I just want to say thank you to every single person that watches this show live or if you catch the replay. I just want to say thank you for your time and effort in, you know, consuming this podcast for as long as you have potentially consumed this podcast. And I would highly recommend you guys go and check out my channel update video. And in that channel update video, I give the details on the plans I am having come up for this channel, actually. And I hope you will be there on that right. And if you are watching this show on the podcasting platforms, uh, you know, just go and check out the show on the podcasting platforms. Just type up Master Swag King. And then when you see a yellow lion pop up with both podcasts, the Iron Man podcast and the Cloud9 podcast, then that is the podcast you want to follow because I put both podcasts under the same name. That way I don't have to create separate accounts. That just makes it a whole lot easier. And if you are a returning viewer or new viewer, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like on the show. If you enjoyed it, comment down below and make sure to turn on the notification bell. That way you can be notified on whenever I upload a video or we go live. And yes, without further ado, Let's begin. So, joining me here on this episode of the Cloud9 Podcast is Mr. Blanks. What's up, black man? What's up, man? I, dude, I, I've been up all damn day playing Pokemon, watching Pokemon, watching League. Like, literally, what did I, po- what did I tell you about doing that? That's why you'd be so tired. That's why you feed in League on Sundays because you're up all night. What did I tell you about that? Nigga, that's why I went to sleep last. That's so why I sleep. You sleep? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I wake up this morning. I wake up at six o'clock this morning. This motherfucker message, you alive? I'm like, nah, nigga. Like, I was a, I'm gonna tell you, nigga, I'm dead. But nah, I was like, you, I think you you messed with me like twenty minutes after I went to sleep. Yeah, no, you you had said last night you want you want to run it, and I was like, yeah, I literally as I had set up, you fell asleep. But yeah, no, I fell asleep right before. I was like, yeah, nah, I'm because I was going to. Because this is what it was. I saw, okay, he's going to be done by 11.30. All right, cool. I, I waited about like 10 more minutes after that, and I was like, fuck it, I, I got to go to sleep. I was already tired from staying up watching day two. I was like, all right, fuck it, all right. I'll, I'll message him in the morning and say I fell asleep. Never did. Totally forgot. I went to sleep. Around a little bit, I left, a little bit, a little bit before 12, but it was before you messaged me, because you messaged right before 12. I wake up about a little bit after 6. Six hours, felt a little energized. Watched the last bit of Pokemon Go. I, I I don't really care about Pokemon Go like that, but my friend did. That's me. He, well, we all had the link where we were like, he yeah, I saw the bots. That was the long streams. Holy yeah. motherfucker, eleven hours, bruh. Oh yeah, all eleven hour streams. Yeah, twelve hours. Yeah. Oh, uh, how much content I, that is to binge in a day? You wouldn't be done with that in a day. There's no way. Who binges oh, no. that in a day? If you binge that in a day, bro. I was, I, was, I was watching someone streaming on uh, Friday. He he streamed it from yeah. the, because he's on the West Coast. He, his time was he streamed it from 1 30 p.m. to 1 30 p.m. or my time would be yeah. forced. I like literally when I went to work on Friday, they still had two rounds to go. I was like, oh fuck. Okay, let me <laughs> I this is what I did. I watched, I got up, I didn't I didn't start watching the round like round five. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not staying up on Friday. I, I think I have work to watch this. But Saturday, I, I went to locals. I played one game, and the rest of the day, I just traded and judge judge shit because I wasn't um uh, I was I was I was not in the right state about to actually play. I was like, but even though I did pop off playing chip pal, uh, I remember on the live stream I said, uh, my friend live stream we, we were saying I would say usually like, what deck you think is gonna flop? I said chip pal um. Uh, Fuck, uh, Chip Hell and Luke. I said those two are not going to make a top eight. Neither. I, I'm telling you, I'm, you called I'm telling it again. You, yeah, <laughs> I called. I called who was going to win. Not not the player, but the deck. I said Chargers going to win. It, it's going to either go against uh, Snorlax or Giratina. Giratina. The top four was two Chargers and Giratina Snorlax. I was like, how the fuck you do this? Uh, it was Piggy out control, but it still has Snorlax in that space. Mm-hmm. It, it goes. The way I said it was, I looked at the better. Mm-hmm. I look at how people play. If Charlie is the best deck, Chip House should be the best competitor against it. 
if it sets up. That's always the number one key. Mm-hmm. If a debt, if you have to answer the question, if I set up perfectly, I can win. Your your deck is almost there. Like Lukia needs one card that's going to help get Pokemon into the discard pile. The reason why it's not good right now, be, oh, but the kid, the juniors guy got second place with it. Juniors mm-hmm. better, Junior C and the Masters better are all different. Juniors play whatever they feel like it. Like the guy who who won play was playing. Hussein Gudra V Star. That a lot of times when you play decks like that, you're making a meta read. And when you say you're making a meta read, what you're what you're conceding is mm-hmm. I know what the best perceived deck is. I need to play a deck that plays around it. That's that's a meta read. Like in Yu-Gi-Oh! is that, but sometimes there are decks that are just tier zero. Like Lugia, when Lugia was tier zero, mm-hmm. and, and I'm gonna transition into this. When Luki was tier tier zero, there are decks that could beat it if it's set up. Just yeah. like now with G two, G if you if you can set up and get your win caught against G two, you can beat them. But a lot of times teams just forget how to win. And also, T <laughs> one has a pra- practice in two weeks, and they use today against Day one at scripts. Look, the shit I saw. T1 Vade top. Okay, so we'll get into that in just a moment, but I want to do one more disclaimer first. How uh, bad this... is D1? How do you oh, get before... beat by a team who hasn't practiced in a month? So before we get to that, because I, I definitely have to rage on that, just want to let, let you guys know, on this Thursday coming up, there is no show. I'm going to be out of town, and we're not going to get back until I probably maybe – well, I, I, I want to leave around five my time, but even by that, we're going by eight. We'd have to, we're like super tired. So there is going to be no show on Thursday. Uh, we'll just resume having the two shows the following week coming up. Okay. Yeah. So just a reminder, there's no show this Thursday. Okay. I will actually meet Chaz on my other shows because other are going to be tired. So you, if you want to see Chaz, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have him help me on the Ironman podcast this week yeah. coming up on Friday Bangers and uh, Saturday Smackdown, actually. So just so you guys know, once again, for the third time, so you not disappointed. There is no show on Thursday. I'm on vacation. I'm going to get my ass licked by a taco lady. So, hey, yo. <laughs> and if I can get my settings system streamed uh, perfectly, I might stream day two of, or, of Orlando Sunday. Mm-hmm. If I can get because I, I was streaming, I, I only got to stream one part of the game before it went yeah. down that I didn't leave the vlog because the audio was shit. The audio was good until mm-hmm. I, I I think I was trying to fix the setting and I fucked it up. But everybody, it was like, okay, I had like five people watching me just talk about Pokemon. It was like, yeah, mm-hmm. and I remember a lot of, because there was, I, I guess someone rated me, like, and I got like 10 extra people in there, or, or 10 extra people that stayed. It was like, oh, and someone recognized my tag because, um, uh, because I used to play, or not used to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but from their standpoint, yeah. Uh, I, I just told him right now. I'm just taking a break from Yu-Gi-Oh. Just it's it's just not uh it's it's just not a space where I'm like I feel comfortable playing. It's not it part most of it's not money. But, uh, I'm not gonna say that. I'll say about 25 percent of it is Dude, not money. Let's, come on. Why do you do this to me? Why do you always have to make me be the bad guy? Why don't you be the bad guy sometimes? Fuck you. He oh, always does you. this to me, guys. He always does this. Just be honest, man. Just like I had to be honest with myself with Yu-Gi-Oh! recently. Yeah. I'm just not that into it anymore. To be honest. No, with you, I you know? no because no, no, I thought I, I was thinking that, but uh, no. I'm also joking, guys. I'm not into Yu-Gi-Oh! I just have no resources left to play right now, honestly. No, but, I got resources to play. I just don't have I just actually just choose to play Master Duel more because I just have way more fun with it. I don't even play it. I'd rather play IRL Yu Gi Oh! Well, just thinking, of course, I love Yu Gi Oh! I've been fucking with Yu Gi Oh! So I was like a little boy. I, I literally was a lot. I just, I've been with Yu Gi Oh! ever since it started in this country. So I've been here a little since the game began. So all of a sudden, I would never get tired of Yu Gi Oh! Same thing with me with Pokemon. Like, yeah. People don't realize I started with Pokemon before Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! I think what it happens every time it just it just comes out of him. He's like, something with Yu Gi Oh! just makes him just angry, and I have to just gotta go that out of him sometimes. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, no, I still, I still play Yu Gi Oh! I just don't give a fuck about Master Duel. That 
That's what I know. That's the truth. Is I don't play Master Duel. I'd rather just go I, on. I swear, man. Sometimes I play Master Duel and someone just opens up that Snake Eyes combo and I'm like, well, you know, I guess I guess I guess I just lost. Well, that's just how it goes sometimes. It's like oh. it was like <laughs> Oh god! It was like no, I just don't give a fuck about Master Duel. That's my that's my. Are you guys streaming Pokemon? Actually, yeah, yeah. I we just, play Pokemon more. I, I know you said everything got changed out. Like I told before, I'm not trying to not play Pokemon. I actually really enjoy playing. I just been busy. It was been yeah. really busy recently. I, I, I just hit Ultra uh, Ball. I just hit Ultra Ball tier. That's me right okay, now. Okay, can I choose about Pokemon before we start doing league, yeah. league talk? Could you ever see a way they interject a rule that says you you can just put a, a stage two Pokemon out on your bench without having to need to get a stage one out? I never understood that. Why do you have to have a stage one for a stage two on your bench? No, rare candy. You can go rare candy. Oh no, no, no. yeah. So I'm um, so why not have they ever like been, hey, you have a stage two in your hand, but you can't play it unless you evolve the stage one, right? Yeah. Why can't you just play the stage two? Have they ever explained why that's ever been a thing? It's, it's part of the process because it's evolution. You can't, oh, they want you to properly evolution the Pokemon into yeah, evolve the Pokemon, yeah, because it's like that's what I was wondering, like why, why is there a rule where you can't just like put a stage two out there just cause you know? No, okay, there, it's weird. There are Pokemon that if you get to evolve them, there there's a Pokemon they now Reuniclus. <laughs> it says you can look at the top eight cards in your deck. Any Pokemon you find there, you're able to put it on the bench. I mean any anything. Okay. That's I mean, you can take you can put a it's it's kind of like some it was a fusion gate. What's oh, that broken? I remember fusion gate. I remember yeah, it's like fusion yeah. gate on a, on, a, on a stage two Pokemon. That's what okay. Lugia Lugia, Sil Silver Star. You can take you can take a stage two Pokemon Archie out and it uses ability. That's why you're able to, but they no, you gotta evolve, you gotta properly evolve it. It's because what is in a sense? It's kind of like with Yu-Gi-Oh, where it says you cannot sell special summon unless you have this, unless you do this. Special. Mm -hmm. It's it's like that, but but Pokemon is just very simple. Is you don't go to prefer the Oak and immediately get a Charizard. You get a Charmander, mm -hmm. and then you gotta evolve. But oh, but in the, in the game, but in po in TCG, I get to skip the stage. You know, sometimes people hold Charmander and get Charmander for one level, and rate is like, oh, that's why people play the rare candy so they can evolve their stage one bench Pokemon yeah, faster. Because, they, okay. because in the video game, rare candy lets you skip a level, or that's it does. Level. Yeah, it lets you level up. Yeah, yeah, that's me. It's oh, okay, you just evolve from twenty five to twenty six. Rare candy just makes you automatically go to twenty seven. Just. Like you get, you get to just skip that whole process. Mm -hmm. It's like that's why rare candy is so rare because it's like, it's like in, in TCG, it's like okay, cool. I get, I could just skip this step. Now they got a card called De Evolution Detective Machine where it can de evolve the Pokemon. It's a yeah. pain in the ass, but like, but, but, but you, but you enjoyed five. watching the, uh, you enjoyed the stream. Did you enjoy like the casting and stuff like that? Yeah, I love the guys, okay. of course. Um, I remember it was oh my god. They, why are the comments the comment section and chats are just disgusting? Okay, there's this person. Even worse, the LCK. Whenever the LCK is on, I have to perma just mute the actual YouTube chat because our, there's not nothing nothing but a bunch of scam, not just scam, uh, spammers actually. And it's oh just yeah, no, that's the same. Yeah, that's I'm just saying, saying if anyone watch, watch it, like, yeah, if anyone watches the LCK on YouTube for me, I just mute the chat. i I can't do it. It's just, just it's not even conversation. Just, it's just literally a person doing the same copy pasta of like T1 beats everyone except Gen G. They win worlds, Gen G does not. It's like the same thing for yeah, hours that's on the same end. thing with Pokemon where Freya fucked up a son. My god. <laughs> they went after her, but then there was one dude was like that's the Woman, but she looks like a man. I was like, okay, oh, oh, because God. apparently it's a you know, it's a you call it true. I was like, I that's why I can't try to figure out forever. Is that a is that a girl? Oh, I was, I was like, you know what? Now, man, it gets to the point where we can't tell. No, I could tell it's her, but it's the thing is, it's like you know how guys be having long hair. That's why you're yeah. like, this is, but then don't she he's wearing stuff that looks like a I was like, oh, fuck, okay. I was like, but then there's other women and other casting. You can just tell. I was, okay, she's a woman. She's a lesbian. All right, cool. It's like, all right. It's like, shit. And you just thinking about it. You're like, man, this shit is fucking nuts. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just sitting there like. There was one that I saw in a clip. They were from like Brazil. They were like, you could tell it was a dude. And there's a bunch of plastic surgery there, yeah. makeup, everything. He was like, I don't identify as a woman as he literally looks like a Barbie. And I'm like, wait, you don't want to be a woman. You did all this to be a woman. You don't even, what are you then? Exactly. What are we even doing here? So we went through all this gaslighting and bullshit for us to pretend that you're this and you don't want to be that either. What are we even doing here? I have no idea. I don't know. I, God, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, it was- Exactly, uh, and, and that's the thing because I was because I went from watching this weapon. I I started watching. I the, the one thing about me, I watch all three TCG. I don't really okay. watch Go. And did you watch the video game one? The the uh, it's it's fifty fifty. I okay. I didn't have to watch it, but I was like passed out. I was like half asleep. I was because I, I do it at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that's why I, that no because I no because they used to do. I remember back in the day, it used to be just, it was video games, mm-hmm. then TCG. Yeah. But TC, video games is more popular than TCG. I think they go, and video and the TCG is the longest one. Video games don't go no longer than 40 minutes per game. Not even 40 minutes, sometimes it'll be 20 minutes per game. Like, uh, like it'll be 20 minutes, not even that. Sometimes I, I saw a game today, and in like 10 minutes, I'm like, shit, okay, you got, one guy got instantly stumped, two of them. Mm-hmm. It was like, and people that were rooting for you, you could tell it was like, yeah, now nah, this guy's done. Because um, in because VGC VGC is the one where you know the, the minute you see the the teams are going against, you know who is going to win. Yeah. It's kind of like TCG comes out to various. You should know. Oh, Guaranteed has a good chance of the Charizard, but if I then didn't have, it, it, it was one of those things where if. It wasn't bad that people. And oh my god! This is why I had it like, like you know how on Twitch they got that tab where it says collapse. I had it collapse the uh, the chat because it was like, oh, if he didn't have the banana, he and the water, he'd be able to sleep. But if he didn't have the banana, yeah. he wouldn't be able to get to the chorus. It was, it, was, it wasn't a bad. He better, he better, better read. He got to the finals with the deck he did. Yeah. If he would have had at least two water energy, he would have been able to snipe Charmander the Pidgey early. Was because mm-hmm. he was able to get to seven the loss on turn two. It was just if he would have got a faster setup going first, he could have probably he could have probably won. He could have probably won. I was rooting for him because he was American. Plus, plus all it was weird. The guy who won was playing Charizard. I was like, fuck, he's not American. The guy that was American. Was like, and someone was like, I remember uh, back in the day, someone asked, could you, like, it was last year, it was Gary Mitchell, with like Gary Mitchell, yeah. um, was it one? And it was like, oh, if there's two Americans, who you vote for? I, I'm over, I, I usually go by deck. I don't go because he's, I don't go by because he's black. If he's black, he's playing my favorite deck. Okay, that's a, that's a two for one. But if if the black guys play terrorists and us guys play flu, I'm going to go for the flu guy because I'm a flu player. I'm not like, I don't go for a guy because he's black. Like people, I, I think people think sometimes you do that. I was like, nah. Like, it, you know, and that was well, the crazy thing about it. Time for some <laughs> LCK because um, I we do have to save some episodes because after the finals are over, coming up within like I think next week, the finals are gonna happen for like the LEC. And the LCK and the LPL within like these next week or two. Oh my god! We're gonna LPL have that to do like god. you know recaps of the we're gonna do recaps of the LCS recaps LEC. caps and uh Mickey. you remember they really did two recaps of caps. They like oh let's do a live one. Laura was trying to like let's do a live one guy and Mickey and Cap like so so awkward up there. And then Cap as he does a one with Hasala <laughs> and recaps with caps and oh, Hasala with caps. It's like I think. Mean, <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Oh, Christ. oh, Carzy uh, got caught making another slide comment to Hillisang on a short. He was Hillisang was like, Hey guys, what do you need? He was like, Oh, yeah, cool. Can I get Trinity on my team? Oh, no, they, no, they said it is that, that's how Carzy humor is. <laughs> he, he only shits on Trinity, he only shits on Hillisang because he knows Hillisang's tough enough to take it. Like he has respect just for imagine him. Imagine that, dude. Just imagine on stage. <laughs> He's just like, "Hey, uh, what do you guys need to make things better? Can we get Trimby?" Oh, or, dude. 
I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll be the same way. Like, I imagine me being the sore pillar. Hey, 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 guys. Can we uh, find a way to get Albert You know, I'm like, about to do that on Carmine Court. Like, hey, guys. I know uh, Zach is cool enough, but can we get Albert Doggett? Just, I'll, just, I'll be pulling that every fucking oh. week. I'll, I'll be so, I'll, I'll tell my team so bad. I was like, a rogue. Just oh. like, yeah, oh, like, God. So for everyone coming up, we're gonna do recap videos for the LE for the LCS 2024 Spring Split. We're gonna do ones for the LCK LPL. Well, LPL will be kind of mixed in because it's hard to get to them sometimes. I know we're gonna do ones for the LCS, LEC, and the LCK for sure. And we'll start with the LCK actually because I just watched this series last night. Well, I watched everything. Actually. I, I watched them this morning. This the T1 the versus DK series. Okay, so for doesn't know. T1 have not been able to actually scrim for about two and a half weeks, roughly. Now, I want to make sure I preference this. I have no clue if they were able to scrim the week coming into this damn one series. I don't know. Maybe they scrim very little. Maybe they didn't scrim at all. I have no clue. But I will want to make sure I say this because I know that people point this out about T1. It's not an excuse. The point that these guys are as, as good as they always are is because they practice. Whether you're on Gen G, T1, doesn't matter. These guys practice for about 12 to 16 hours a day. So you factor in, if they have not been able to practice sufficiently, they are not going to be as good. And that, to me, is not an excuse. The point about why LCK and LPL players are as good is because they can actually practice and scrim, right? If they if you can't scrim and you can't practice, it's like, well, that person is definitely going to be at handicap. Are they not? You know? I, I just don't personally myself consider that an excuse you know I'm like hey we've not had we've not had a chance to like actually you know practice sufficiently we're not going to be as probably as strong as we are i think that's fair to say you know but that damn one series what did i see in game one did you watch game one yeah i watched game one for the love oh. of god why did damn one just randomly fight t1 at the river next to baron Throw when they didn't need to. Their comp was better. It scaled better. They just had to yeah. wait, and it just threw the whole game. I was like, "Do you got you guys just want to sit home and just jerk off?" They yeah. literally just walked up to them and just into the whole game away. And Faker's like, "Okay, I'll just do a shock wave, and we just end the game." Yeah. Game two, <laughs> Zayus picks Vayne. They do everything right in putting the Vayne pick down so it just doesn't. Snowball crazy. Kingen forgets his TP button and doesn't know how to TP properly. And then somehow during the fight, later on in the game, they forget that Vayne exists, even though they clearly put him down enough to where it's like not a factor, but you still have to make sure you keep up with putting Vayne down because you just don't let it just sit there and not take care of it. To the point where Zeus, who was pretty much out of the game for about a good 20 minutes, just, yeah. oh, welcome back to the game, Zeus. Yeah, it's, I beats the shit out of him. After that, yeah. I was on my bed and I was like, all right, sleep. I didn't I'll, watch game three. I didn't I care. Wa- I, no, no, no way I watched live. No one gave I watched like, live was game bro. three. I was like, bro. I saw that shit game one and two, and I was like, yep, time for me to go sleep. Carry I, picked fucking Camille support. He was sprinting it. I was like, bro. He's I, I, he was like playing bad. It was just like, he doesn't look good on that pick at all, actually. Well, unless it was really, really limit testing. He was playing really, really awful on some scenarios. According but. to the chat, and if you was reading the chat like I was, that's how I got spoiled on it. That T1 was up 2 0 the way he said it. T1, who had the practice of the bus, is up 2 0. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, why. Remember Doran? When you, did, I don't know if you watched the stream. You know the part they have the, the player comp when they're yeah. in their rapping language? When Homo Life is winning, Doran is in translated in English. He said, Did we really win? Wait a minute. That means that if they're at full power, they're going to get fisted, actually. He literally was so surprised they actually beat them. I was like, bro, you guys are yeah. lucky they can't practice right now. They're going to crush you if they have sufficient practice. Yeah. Like, they're like, because when, when I hear stuff like that from players, that doesn't fucking breed me confidence that that team is stronger than them. That That's like, hey, this team wasn't, this team was severely handicapped, and you're surprised you actually beat them. That is, that is just sad, actually. Yeah. Oh, God. After watching DK just throw like that, I was like, this team is just trying to throw. They're not even trying to win. What is this? Why did they fight them like that in game one? That is ridiculous. 
They just willingly walked and fought them for no reason whatsoever, just because fuck it. Yeah. All the T1 girls in the audience, you know, they, they just want to give Baker some Gok Gok 3000. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that river where they, and then T1 just gets bare. I want to show you guys how bad this is. This is this is beyond levels of fun. Yeah, I'm rewatching it right now because I remember I, I went back and I watched it live. I was like, I, I, thought, here, it was, I thought it was watch three this. blood. This I is was, absolutely was, terrible. Like, oh, it, it, if Damn One were actually able to win those, are you telling me that Damn One can take Genji to five games, but they can't even beat T1 what? One time? No, 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 no. How do you how do you get 3-0 by a T1 at that half health? That's even worse. But that's then you take D1 to 5, and you could have beat him if you did fuck up towards the end of game 5. I don't know, man. This makes no sense. T1, who hasn't probably had scrimmed in about two it's weeks. weeks. It's three weeks. It's yeah. Three weeks. The players can't play solo queue. So, so they're just relying on essentially, like, what, raw player skill at that point? You're just relying raw on player raw player skill plus watching, video, plus watching video. A lot of it is watching video, and then T1. And apparently what they're saying is T1, whatever they have to do against Hollow Life, they had to do it against DK. And DK, that's, that's why when you see Camille... Camille Twisted Fate is like, what the fuck? Twisted Fate? The fuck is. I mean, Carrie is not a stranger to picking out random shit to play support. You probably Cam- should never give that guy Rumble support then. That should be always automatic against that guy. That guy's yeah. a psychopath. If Barrel can take over a single game playing Rumble, just imagine what Carrie is going to do with it. That means if I see any LC, if T1 makes it to MSI after they potentially beat Hanwa coming up this week. If T1 makes MSI, there's any LCS team that play against them, and they let Rumble go through, you deserve to actually just be knocked out of the tournament there, right then and there. If, if any team that's not, not BLG. If they give, if they let Zeus have Yone, and if they let Carrier have Rumble, and then Faker have Azir, you deserve to go home with no wins. Just, just get off the fucking stage. I don't want to look at you anymore. <sighs> fucking frauds. All right, so this right here, it's somewhere in North America, so it's about right, yeah, right here. So fucking cringe. There's there's just no reason for this. There is no reason. The map state is fine, and Lucid's like, I'm going to go on and fight this guy. Okay, they get his ult. Owner's running. We could just, like, stop. They keep going in for no reason. Aiming's getting yeah. zoned out. Just, just. It's get off. It's go home. Just shut. Get the fuck out of here. Exactly. What is this? It's a bullshit. That's what it is. What? Wait, I want you to slowly rewatch how, how badly they just trolled here. There is no reason to fight them. Damn one. Have a better comp. You can scale with this. At, mostly Lee Sin just kind of falls off, but that's fine. Yeah. He's just, he's a, Lee Sin's an early game champ. He'll, he falls off. Nico out, will outburst um, Camille. Varus outranges Callista. Diana will 1v1 Orion in a side lane. Lee Sin can hold off um, Zin Zhao. And Jax against Twisted Fate. I mean, a little Jax strips on to Twisted Fate without stun card. He's dead. Why did they need to fight them here? Can they explain to me why they fought them here? I watched this live and I about damn near threw my computer out the window. Why? Right there. Why did Amy throw his ult? What is the point of that? He's Zin. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh my god! He threw his alt to a Xin Zhao with his alt on him. He is immune to spells. It doesn't work. It doesn't trans it doesn't go to the next person. He just ulted a Xin Zhao with his alt on. This is beyond trolling. How T1 couldn't have won the series. I would have out about your gem that I I'd just fucking kill myself. I would have got off the roof and just jumped. Oh shit. If my if my Varus ever just ults a Jin Zhao with his ult on, I, I need you to uninstall that computer. I need you to go take that shit back to Walmart. Get your ass a refund. <laughs> Bruh. This is so troll. And then Kellen knows the fight's over, and he just goes and ults. For what? He knows the fight's over. Why are you going in? What is this? Can you explain this? This is trolling. This is match fixing at its finest. Fuck damn one. I feel sorry for Showmaker. He's trying his ass off. But this team, yeah. you can't save these fucking bastards. There is no reason to fight this when they have the better comp. Why? 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 That's the same thing what happens when a boxer got to... The boxers be having the other boxer on the ropes. 
but then forget that one box that has a counter punch can hit you, and then hit, hit you enough times, you go down, and you, and you go out. And that's what happens. such harsh. After I saw that, I was like, there's just no way they can win. If you're that bad, you just need just, just sit home and just don't play anymore. This next game, uh, Zay's playing Vang Top. was like, all right, all right, he's putting his cock on the fucking table. They shut him yeah, down. Yeah. They get his sums early. They, they're they TPing around the map. They're getting some nice picks. And then, well, they uh, – this was this was a skirmish they actually had. Yeah, this one was – that was fairly even, actually. Carry is like, I'm just pick Sejuani support. Like, this guy just trolling. It's just jungling. When they this saw like, Sejuani, and they was like, oh, it's a juggler. <laughs> and, they, and then you see the pick this down, you're like, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is, how is Carry not the player to split when he does shit like that? I, I get it. That's what I'm saying. MVP. How is how is Carrier not player the split when he does shit like this and still wins? Like, come on! Like this guy literally warps how people even think and play about support at this point, which is pretty. I crazy swear to God, there's now. only somebody that might test out Sejuani support. He better not. Don't do it. Oh God! Just this series just gave me AIDS. Like I'm not even saying T1 actually played bad. It was just more like, why is Dan Wan just decidingly inting into them? Yeah, not nah, yeah, Like, nah, T1, to throw every T1 SKT team that I've ever seen, for some reason, since Faker's always on these teams, they know how to punish you. You make a mistake, they will punish it. They're not like LEC teams or LCS teams, garbage trash like that, where you can, like, blatantly into them and they, they won't do anything about it. No, if you... L- run into LEC, them, if you hit enough time, though, they'll, they'll punish it. LCS is 50-50. Like... You think LCS knows what punishing is? I feel like D2 does if they don't troll. Because sometimes D2 yeah. be trolling a little too hard. Like LCS, uh, I, I got no face, but yeah, no. Yeah, even, if you like, even Quad Dog know how, good enough. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Even Quad Dog and uh Dobson don't know how to punish. That's the crazy part. Like, just look at this right here. He shouldn't be able to even get in front of you like that unless, well. He outzones you. Remember, he outzoned yep. two people as a vein, and they have Vagar. So, like T one, they actually played good at making sure that Showmaker on Vagar could not get next to him. Because let's be honest here, if Vagar gets a hold of Vein, he just kind of looks like one shot to you. You, you just did. Yeah, like but you no, can't really but, like stop that. <laughs> but no offense, King, I oh, Cassante was kind of like okay, yeah, it's doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, Kingan <laughs> is just by far and away the most washed. World champion I've seen in a long time. He is just not good. Remember yeah, the game this last week? He got perfect game by um fucking what's his name? Perfect, perfect one yeah. game just absolutely beat the living shit out of perfect him. Perfect played perfect, perfect, perfect just nineteen. Perfect played perfect against him. He had a big he look, look, this, look how bad positioning this is. Look how terrible this is. All right, everyone who, who knows how to play against Vegar. Vegar, you can put his cage right here. You can put his cage right here. There's a choke point that if you put it down, you can't get in. Okay, they know that. So why is Showmaker over here and left the jungler alone? And Kellen's just, why did Kellen throw his hook? What is this? I'm watching. This is horrible. Why did he hook him back in? Somebody save me. And why did King and TP... Kingen, who sucked at TPing the entire game, was like, I was going to TP to die. I, I, I'm just trying to go home and get my fucking balls licked by a Korean <laughs> prostitute. Why did he TP? This this team makes me angry. Why did he TP? Hey, I, hey we just kind of lost our biggest team fighting champion, which is Vagar. How about to TP and die? Why? Why? This is already lost. This is straight up already lost. Right here. Why he's even here... To just fucking say hi, hello, I'm dead. I have no clue. I have no clue why he's here. He could be split pushing. At least that's more better than TPing. You can't TP to lost fights like that and make it gonna work. And nope. somehow, and somehow, some way, Showmaker even lived, which is which is pretty sad. But this once well, once I saw this live, I was like, all right, cool. DK just wanted to sit at home and just jerk off. This is this doesn't count. The fact that they're <laughs> probably the fourth best team in the LCK is just something. That team is bad. With KT got having a better roster. That I don't think KT has a better roster overall. I think they have a better roster on paper. I think the DK players kind of they best, work better. Yeah, they work better, but KT has a better, yeah, on paper. 
<laughs> KT actually had better players on paper, but their players are so dysfunctional it doesn't even matter at this point. Yeah, it, it's, like it's DK's like, players mesh better, but their the ceiling is so low. Like basically, DK boils down to if aiming doesn't have the best positioning, they can't have any late game carry, and yeah. Showmaker has to basically play. Showmaker literally has to be in winning positions every game for it to work. Every exactly. game, every time, and you can't count on Kingen. The fact that you're stuck. King in 2024. That's funny. <laughs> Why does Yelsky do this to me, man? Why? Why? I don't know, man. This shit. I ain't gonna lie. This shit. This shit had me surprised when I saw it. I saw it over and then because I like I got to tell end of it and I saw the interview. And I was like, I thought it was Gate Five. I was like, all right, cool. I, it, it probably started early then. There was a the then I go then I go on YouTube and it says. All three, it said all games. I was like, and then I oh, go yeah, to one yeah. video before it said game three. I was like, oh, please don't tell me people got three out. And I looked, it was uh, Dan Watt. I was like, you got what? I was like, I thought T1 got three out. And I was like, damn, T1. Like, like, like T1 right here, they the leave play. Faker. Like, th- this is just criminal. Like, this is the right, like, Faker's overstaying. He's completely overstaying. He should not be here anymore after they got the tower down. Yeah. He's overextended. There's five of them, but it's one, two, three, there's four, four of them. Four at the bottom. Four. four. Yeah. They can kill him. He he lands the hook, he just gets the shuffle, and they just run away from him. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck are you people doing? <laughs> yeah, I saw it out like <laughs> uh, shit. Actually just turn off your computers and go home. If you can't if you can't kill on a zero like that, you I'm, need to I'm, go it, home. It was five people because it was four in the frame and one over in the corner. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Because Kingen was, five was they they weren't gonna just dive. I mean, you could have, but they weren't gonna dive king in right there. It was if you a can't even kill Faker if he's overextending. Quite literally, just unplug the computers and get the fuck off the stage because that's just it was a one v five. It was a one v five. It was like, oh shit, because DK was winning game three too. That's the scary part. They were winning game three handily early. Someone says, "How can you lose to a team that has DDoS who haven't practiced for two weeks?" And and. It's not like it went to like five games. It was a, it was a thrill. Like I wake up in the morning, put my drawers on, go to work, half day, went home. Like these guys were done before the Pokemon like matches even really started. And I'm talking about the Pokemon Go matches. This shit was this shit started at two a.m. I think it was two yeah two a.m. two that, three a.m. You know also crazy man. The weirdest thing is that if their raw player skill is like that without being able to even practice, Hama Life are so lucky they have been able to practice good. Because, you yep. know, people said that Riot gave them separate accounts that were between, like, Diamond to Challenger. Yeah. They're not going to get good practice out of that. Faker has been Challenger people for, like, his entire life. Yep. Him playing up against Diamond mid laners is worthless. He's going to learn nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. This is how it works. <laughs> you know, if he's gonna if he's gonna get sufficient enough practice to be at the best level, he needs to practice up against challenger mid laners on his skill level, like BDD, Chovy, the LCK challenger mid laners that are all that are you know obviously challenger rank. You know, if he wants to face actual non bot uh, ch- uh, yeah. diamond mid laners, just go to the uh, C below. Just face them. If they went to the C below, he not he be king, just king. Yeah, imagine him on a team with Robo, just like fake him, middle and Robo top. Just the fact that Robo's still playing is just sad. That's just completely sad. No, the f- fact that Robo has never been below second place is sad. <laughs> like, like that's how sad these teams are. Oh, shit. he's won. I think he's won every split he's played. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, no, nah, that can't. You you, you so said an LEC dominant. See, see below is really. C That's below so play. fraudulent. Like, there's players that we know are probably better than him at in CB Lowell's top lane, and they can't even win one title. This man can win like four. It's like R7 and uh, LLA. Like, when they finally got new players, they, I think they won like three straight splits. So, yeah, because okay. this year they're not going. It's going to be Estral Esports going for, for them. Yep. And Estral right. is worse than R7. So for Gen G, I did see the Gen G games against Humble Life. Uh, game one, Humble Life. Were, that's the thing. That could have been a 3-0. Gen that G should, that should have been a overstayed. Because the thing is, even game one, when they were focusing keen as hard as they were, 
Yeah. They were like still out playing them in team fights. What really messed them up in game one was when, the, when they tried diving and they messed up and Zeri just popped off in that one team fight with Viper. Viper, you know, you know to me, in my opinion, best ADC in the LCK is there. I don't know what they're going to do with Viper because after this year, Viper's contract's over. Homolife, whoever that person that's making the roster, needs to get on his knees and make sure he's, he blows Viper off the ass because if Viper's not on their team anymore, they aren't competitive. I'm just being that. I'm saying that right now. They are not competitive without him. He's the only reason why they win games most of the time. Unless Peanut plays whatever supportive jungler good. Um, Toby has definitely really, really just put his cock out on the table and just started stomping people. Like, yeah. I don't know about the frozen heart for Azir. That's kind of weird. I've never tried that. I might try that. That sounds kind of cool. But he's really, really stepped it up. So... Yeah, Gen G are going to MSI. So, you know, G2, Gen G teams I like and support, they're going to go to MSI. Going to get my icons. It's cool. You know, it's fine. You know, RNG will be there never again. Uh, Cloud9 are going to be there in spirit. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. If, if, if by any chance they, uh, T1 can recite Gooby UC, they can always pick up Viper. They got that's the money. True. That's true. You know? Like, yeah. really. Cause we, yeah, there, there's no way T1 keeps the same roster again. There's oh, no way. Know. They could, but I don't think they will. The, the thing is, like, them keeping this roster together hinged on them winning world, and they won. But it's such a what a crazy goal! It's like we have to win worlds to keep this roster, or we destroy the entire thing. It's like, all right, okay. It's the kind of stakes we're playing with here. Either you win the the biggest trophy, or you just mess the whole roster. You just did, what's that word? You dismantle the roster. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, Genji ended up being Honda Life. Am I like Chovy's been playing really, really well? Uh, they're like it's weird that they're oddly just choosing to focus on Keen when I think, in my opinion, to beat Genji, you're gonna probably have to focus bot lane. Pace has just not been performing that well recently. I mean, he's just been kind of just getting carried in most games. Hopefully, he can pick it up because if Genji have any aspirations of winning with Chovy this year, he needs to not be a liability. Actually, for Gen G at all, he's been getting not just out positioned in team fights, he's being just destroyed in lane in a lot of scenarios where you know this guy's way better. Maybe he's just having an off split, I don't know personally, but he's not been playing as good as he once was, you know. All right, so that's LCK. So the match is coming up, right? It's T1 against Hanma Life, it's going to be a rematch actually. Uh, last time was a 3 0, I don't think that's going to happen this time around. Yeah, there's, I mean, I hope I. I honestly hope it's a Gen G T1 rematch because I just don't trust Hanwha Life going to MSI. There's, I just. I'm saying right now, I, if Hanwha Life makes it to MSI, it's BLG's probably going to take home. Uh, <laughs> BLG's, hey, BLG's actually pretty strong. I, if, they, if they want MSI, I'm not surprised. BLG's actually pretty fucking good. No, no, I, I'm saying, no, BLG's going to win um, hands down. This, uh, this yeah, gonna T1 be, you versus know, Hanwha Life. For the love of the LTK, I love Peanut, and you know me, I love my former Gen G boys, but yeah. nah, they, I don't think they're a bad team, it's just like, I just don't really trust Zekka at International, Zekka versus Knight, are you kidding me? Yeah. In this current state, Zekka versus Knight? Is that, no, exactly. Bro, what are we doing here? I, I, I just hope it's a, because if T1 make the finals, that would be the fourth, what, yeah, 2022 spring, 2022 summer, all of last year. This would be the fifth time these guys have met in the finals if T1 win. And if T1 win, they go to MSI. So that's what's on the line for this match. T1 go to MSI, or they don't, actually. And Humble Life goes. Or, and if Humble Life make it to the finals, this would be the first time since 2022 spring there have been two different teams or another team beside T1 in the finals, which is crazy to think about, honestly, too. I I, I just hope for the betterness of the LCK that T1 goes. I, I, I'm going to say T1 win. I think Humble Life definitely can give them a run for their money. I think it, it'll be a close 3-1 series. I'll just say yeah. T1 win 3-1. I hope so, too. Because yeah. if they lose, you will see me film a video of me on a bridge. And whatever happens afterwards, I can't really uh, <laughs> confirm what's oh, going to happen Jesus, yeah. the next. Huh. All right, let's go to uh, LEC today. We do not advocate 
advocate other live yourselves on this channel. Unless it's in Minecraft. Yep, on uh, Minecraft. The views of MSK do not re uh, reflect the views of Mr. Blake. Thank you. Um, Actually, he condones everything I've said. I don't condone nothing that MSK says. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I have T1 winning against Humble Life 3 1. And if it's actually a rematch with uh, Gen G, yeah, that's, we kind of know how that goes now. Uh, I, I, I hope it's a five game banger series, but we know yeah. what's going to happen if Gen G and T1 meet in the finals. Come on. We've been the same song. We don't know about end. that. We don't know about the, that this time. That's... <laughs> uh, if they actually do win, that's going to be just like, what happened? If Gen G actually lose to them and they haven't been able to practice for like potentially three weeks, that. Would be a pretty medium sized upset, I would say. Actually, yeah. all right. So this week, Genji should be coming home with that fourth title. Because if Genji don't, then Faker would have his eleventh title as a mid laner. That's insane. I think he's the second highest title earning mid laner. Because like Caps has like how much the Caps has? How many titles does Caps have? Oh. Uh... I know he had he two on Fnatic. He had four on G2. And then the original EU LCS, so that's six. And then yeah. he won Winter this year, so that's seven. They won two splits last year, so that's nine. Yeah. If you count season finals, I wouldn't necessarily count that as a split. I don't count that as a split win. But that that that, that would be ten. So if he wins spring this week coming up, that means he'll be tied with Faker for ten titles. That's insane. Yeah. Fucking crazy. All right, let's talk about the LEC, actually. Um, please help me, man. I'm gonna lose I'm losing my brain watching this league. Yep. Where where do you even start? Where do you start at, honestly? <sighs> okay. Um Might as well start with the upper bracket one since it just happened today. It's yep. G2 versus BDS. BDS could have brought it to a game five. They could they could have, but man, BDS. How do you choke that hard? Because they've been doing it all all, all season. I, this, I don't this understand, one, man. This one was bad. This was... But let's talk about that game three. That, that's one of those where... I want you to look at how G, uh, not G2, BDS look. They were so tilted in game three. Oh, they did... T1. Oh, no, they, um, uh, what's his name? G2 in game three pulled off that NIP lane swap that they did against, yeah. um, FPX. And yeah. when, oh my God, they actually just beat the living shit out of them. That was probably one of the hardest stomps I've seen in a while, actually. Exactly. Well, wasn't Adam like 0 6 or some shit like that? 0 yeah. 8 when the game is over? You could just tell he was just so mentally done. Adam, Adam was so <laughs> He was so tilted. I, I just want to watch that game fail, Lord. I, he was so fucking tilted. It was – I never see somebody so tilted. It was just like – he wanted to punch somebody in that moment. He, like, I, I just got to that that game alone about three times. Like – So, the, it was game three. Game so, three. they did this lane swap – and if you do this and it actually works, because Hansama ended up having four kills by like 10 minutes on a jinx. And you're like, I mean, let's just go to, as a coach backstage, you know, Strider's just like, yeah, let's just go to game three. Let's just go to game four. It, it, yeah. th this is lost. Ice, as a Varus, is just walking up without vision, knowing they're probably going to end, end up. Attacking yeah. the bot lane because BDS's bot lane is. I just walk something. He's, he's about to get a kill, kill out caps. Nothing happens. Adam tries to go. Oh, he tries to take out a ward, and then he has three people in the bus. Shale's trying to attack from behind, but Adam gets chucked out too fast, and Shale just leaves him. Shale just leaves him like, nope, nope, nope. Shale's like, he was, he was trying to gain from behind, and then a fucking TP comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, from Adam does absolutely nothing. And Adam they made Adam. sure to put Aatrox. The thing is, if you put Aatrox down the way they were trying to do, it's just over. It's just, just disgusting. Oh, plus I got, oh my god, I got fucked so hard. The thing with Ice is, this is why I, I said he's the same thing as Noah. 
if you give them resources and you put enough effort into them, that's what you get. Yeah. Which is just an average, okay, decent carry. And, and don't ever pull a Bravo on Ash again. He can't pull it off. He can't. He can't. He he ain't that guy. How you be saying he ain't that dude? He he ain't him. He ain't him. <laughs> the comp get, is so don't, bad. Don't. Is, is, why does Caps have a really in soul? Again! Is, again! Again! Now, yeah, oh, fun yeah. fact. The very first champion he ever got a pinnacle on was the original Aurelian Soul, and he got a pinnacle on the new one today. Just, just putting it out there. Actually. And then fucking Shale almost didn't want to give it to him because he kept running. <laughs> if, if Shale would have stayed alive for five more seconds, Caps would have got the pinnacle. I love how they're just waiting to end the game just so Caps can get a pinnacle. And then, and, and then everybody was telling him, Shale, just give him the pentakill. Just give him the pentakill. You're already done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just tell him be media to shit. Just, like, just okay, I, I will say this time around when they faced off against them, they had a they, they played a little bit better than they did oh, in no, game three. They played a lot, but a lot better. A lot the better. The problem here in game three is that they – no, sorry, not game three. Game four because game three they got – Absolutely, curb stomped into no, the complete dirt. Gate, gate, game three was even a contest. That was, if you're an Aatrox and you get solo killed by Jack, if, if you're an Aatrox and you get solo killed by a Zach, do this. Yeah, just, just, yeah, just, just in that shit. Low, Bro got low, solo killed nice. under his turret when Adam, when Zach, when uh, beat Broken Blade. Was level ten. He was level eight. He barely had bought an item. That's how destroyed this guy had been. Yeah, bro. They humiliated. I'm not gonna lie. Game. They lost that. Um, they yeah. lost the minute they did ban uh, Aurelius Soul. The minute they did ban Aurelius Soul, they they lost the they lost the game in my opinion. Because I was like, really, y'all y'all left the Aurelius. I was like, okay, like. If you play against against me and you leave Seraphine open, oh fuck you, you're gone, you're gone. You leave us, you you leave, you leave out. If you leave Ash or Seraphine against me, you're gone. Mostly Seraphine though. I left, I left, I left the nigga get a really soul twice, thinking he wasn't gonna do that. Got a really soul in Jinx. Because in game four, I remember in game four, BDS actually had a chance to win it. And then no, they, they tried, did. and they then they went to the Baron pit, and then they the Yikes steals the Baron. Yeah, but, but, the, friend, but the problem, let's... but the problem with Game Four is Adam is on Rumble, and he is completely just not doing anything on Rumble. I'm not gonna lie, I think he was still tilted from Game Three because he he just he didn't look like he was there anymore. He just went in and said, "Fuck it." He, he he was already he was already he was already ready ready to play the winner fanatic in vitality because he was he was gone mentally he was gone like I I've I've, I've played with imagine now, getting embarrassed if you got a like it's like if you're playing Pokemon and that yeah. opponent just straight up bends you over and does the Adrian Achetic to you it's like you're just like this guy's just that, got all the answers that, you know <laughs> that happened a day oh uh, that that was me but I remember this. Guy saw like guy saw he had me and I just came back and beat him. He he could beat me because he he and he fucked up. He put a double turbo energy. If he doesn't do, do that, he beats me. I was like, all right, I got you. And then I still had the belt on. And then he already, he went down to two prizes. Like and then and then I just go subs up and just beat him. I was like, mm-hmm. he was like fuck because he he realized he fucked up. He's like, yeah, the double turbo energy is what cost you. Yeah, no, that happens. And like my problem with BDS in the series yeah. is so they go. Th- th- this is a problem in game four. You saw game four, right? Remember when yeah. they were pushing up into the base? Just take one inhib and then just go and reset for drag. Why did they overstay knowing there's dragon coming up and then only giving away certain cooldowns? Because Nuke has to run, he has to ult, everyone has to blow their specific cooldowns. And then when G2 aggressed into them, they killed Yike. So I, yeah. I don't even know what to. I don't know. Like, are they, are know they the second best team in Europe? It seems I like no it. one wants to be the second best. Fnatic don't want to be second best. BDS don't want to be second best. Vitality can't be second best because if Vitality second best, we just need to. Do, you know, Did you hear the way? Like, if 
This is how it is. For the last four teams in the playoffs, G2 is already yeah. qualified. Yeah. In order for all BDS and Fnatic have to do is get to the finals, and they're Just in. the finals, and that's – yeah, that's it. Yeah. But Vitaly, yeah. But Vitaly has to win it. Yeah, because in winter, they got knocked out in the lower bracket in round – Early. Yeah. yeah, they got knocked out early. They were the final four team. Definitely, they have to get to the final and win. Against they can't. They can't. It's impossible. There's I, no way. I think they. I think they. If they win the G- finals, I will take my chair and I will throw it out this window. They played G two well, but the issue is they haven't played the other two teams well. That's the issue. They're so like if, if, I know the teams are bad. Just in theory, I know guys. I know you guys are bad. Which is they are so much worse than Fnatic. They are so much worse oh, than BDS. They you know, they literally have like for BDS, you know, Adam can have some good games when he's yeah. not mentally blown out. You know, Razor can have great games. Noah can have good games. The only person that can have great games on Vitality is Photon if you give him carries. He's not really that good on like like ca- like tanks, right? Yeah. And Karzy carrying. Are we gonna hope that? Vettio carries them to finals and but then the, beats G2. But the issue know, is, man. too, and and Carly, and I, uh, I know why Carly be joking about Hillisay. Hillisay be itching the game away sometimes. It's like, dude, why, why, why are you giving the other team hope? Like, mm-hmm. you give G2 enough hope, they're gonna fuck you. It's like, mm-hmm. like you already give a team's hope, and then it's like, why tell you beats G2, then almost go, <laughs> almost lose to Rome. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? And yeah, and uh, I was just thinking about that today at work too. Before I left, you know, Warren brought up the fact that G two lost to Rogue. None of that. No one brings it up anymore because I, I tried to tell Warren when he was here. I like Warren too. None of that matters. You, losing yeah. a random Bo one to an extremely shit team means nothing if they're going to win the split. Like no one, you know no one remembers you know that. No one idea matter because oh, he lost to Fnatic. Fnatic better than what did G two just do to Fnatic? Absolutely fisted him. What three yeah. out? Was it no two out? End of the 12, game, 20 minutes. Don't even 21 know what minutes. Is. 21 fucking minutes. They they were going, they got the Herald. They were they were thinking about going for Bear and they just said, fuck it, let's end. Mm-hmm. No, no, because I think they were trying to go for Bear and they said, let's take out some towers. They realized these guys were too squishy. And they just said, fuck it, we can end the game right here. 21 yeah. minutes. And and everybody said, Oh, Fnatic finally beat G2 in the regular season, we can win. <laughs> and then they and then they gave you a false hope again. Like, like I know remember- I will dominate had a tweet there he was talking about how much better other teams would be if they had caps on it. Keep in mind, other teams have beaten him before. I mean, just in 2022 summer, Rogue won. Yeah. But that team was good at punishing stuff when they had the right core of players to beat him, you know? Yep. Like give back to Ren, G2 were G2 beat caps when they but when Caps first start, let's put lots of preferences when he first started. So I'm gonna make sure I keep that in preference too. G2 also yeah. won without Caps as well. I mean, G2 also got to Worlds without Caps as well. So, but I, I do agree, Caps is a huge difference maker. The only reason why the other G2 lineups were weaker on certain years is because Caps wasn't playing as good. But if Caps is put, what people always, I've always said, if Caps is playing good, uh, yeah, there's gonna be such a huge difference there. Like the difference between Caps. And Nook is so huge that if you just swap them, BDS would probably win two splits in a row. I'm not even kidding you. Like, what do you think, man? If you just swap out, if you put Fnatic, if you put Cast back on Fnatic, they actually win titles again. You know? Oh, yeah. Hey, and we said, hey, Fnatic had a chance to win a Fnatic had chances to win titles when G2 were weak. 2022 was their chance to win titles again. They had Humanoid, Razor, Wonder, Hillisang, Upset. This is when G2 had Tergamas in their bot lane, okay? This is when they weren't even... This is when Caps had to pull out some monstrous p- playoff performances for them to even, like, get to the finals and win with Yankos. Th- Fnatic had two or at least, you could say, two splits to maybe three to win titles without w- against yeah. Caps. 2022, they should have won that finals weekend when G2 lost to Rogue. G2 lost to fucking Rogue, of all people, right? Yeah. Like, they had chances to win. It just... You know, I don't even know actually why they can't win titles anymore. It's just because you know, Caps is a difference maker. This is kind of all it is yeah. at this point. You know, plus, plus fanatic. I, I saw someone in the chat say this. 
Plus for that, if you get people players that are great individually but not good as a team. I That's the like, problem, too, is they manage to put together a team for Caps that can be good individually, but they can also work together as a good team. That's yeah. what Fnatic needs. Because Fnatic's team is just a team of five good, in quotations, individual players. You know? That's it. But they do not play well as a team. It, it's really just like if Razork doesn't kind of get them to do anything, and they just really just have no early game. Yeah, Oscar and can kind of win you some early games here and there. He can kind of get some lane leads here and there. It's not consistent, but he can. But it's not like anything you can like rely on, you know. Uh, Humanoid is a coin flip on whenever he chooses to be good or bad. Or yeah. there's some weeks where he just like he shows you why he should be second best, but then there's some weeks where he's like, it's just like, what the fuck are you even doing? Noah is just basically ice. If you swap Noah and ice, you will see no difference in Fnatic's play. I promise you that they are the same player. What is the difference between Yike and Noah and Ice? I have no clue. Um, like, why is this guy even an import slot? Noah's, Noah, um, no, Ice is slightly more aggressive, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Ice will do more aggressive things when needed. Noah yeah. is like, I don't even know. Like, why? And you got back to around, like, why are we wasting an import slot on that guy? Like, why are we wasting an import slot on Noah and uh, Jun at this point, you know, like I don't know. I, I think if Fnatic don't make MSI, they make roster changes. There, there is absolutely no way you run this back for another third split. There's no oh, way we are gaslighting ourselves into believing that this roster can work. Like it, it can work if it's just five players, but you're trying to win a championship, and this is not going to happen with this team. I'm sorry, you know. I want Fnatic to make MSI. I think they are, in theory, in my opinion, the second best team, but. You know, given how bad their actual team cohesion is, I just I just don't see it. I could easily see a world where BDS just only beats it because they have just better players to work as a team together, actually. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. And oh, that line's just... out, and they're not good. Oh, my God, I'm so shocked. Oh, my God, yeah. they overperformed in winter, and people said, let's see if they can consistently do that. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, my God, I'm shocked. A bunch of randoms are not consistent. And didn't keep up their performance. And random rookies at that too, or most of them are rookies. Mm. I was like, shit, but I was, I wasn't surprised because I know Sean. He was like, they weren't going to be tenth in their first split. I was like Sean, it's more highly likely it would be tenth in their first split than being tenth later. So what are you talking about? And like now, uh, I don't think that, I don't think that they were never going to be tenth. I I thought there was a chance that they missed playoff. But then I, I kind of yeah. underestimated how bad Rogue was. I was like, God damn. That was odd, like, too. Cause even with, yeah, because even with players on Rogue's roster, you think, like, oh, this is this might be, like, a seventh place team at least. No, they're just not. Yeah. Carl Court being bad, that, not too surprising. Like, in my opinion. Yeah, what's crazy about Carmi Corp is they had – Closer ways of winning games last split, and they do th this one was just all bad. This one yeah, was just yeah. no redeeming qualities at all. Oh, but yeah, guys, that is the LEC right now coming up. Oh, it's finals. We're in finals weekend. This week coming yeah. up, finals weekend. It's almost over. Uh, we're gonna be in LPL too. What's LPL happening? LPL. I saw. Did you see Top Esports versus JDG? Because that's the yeah. that I got to catch up. Dude, that one caught me off guard. That was so one-sided. It's not even close. Top Esports won, didn't they? Yeah. I, yeah, I figured. Yeah. But guess, but, but, but guess what? But guess in how many games? I think they won in three, right? 3 0. Yeah. Yeah. JDG is insanely weaker. Yeah, like fuck. Yeah, yeah. Who, I told knew, you it's, who, it's, who knew that losing night was gonna be? It's almost yeah. as like night's the difference maker in a lot of these teams. Just saying, yeah. you know. Like I love my boy Yigal. I, I, I'm hard on him sometimes, but he 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 definitely can win. It's the problem with. We'll, we'll go over him next week. But I yeah. say this: Ninjas and Pajamas with Rookie has been very, very really really good. Oh, I, yeah. they, they've been a pleasant surprise, actually. There was more Come, fun teams. Because it was crazy in the regular season, they were kind of like they did they, they had a strong start and then they kind of like started falling off. And I was like, oh, fucking fucking rookie can't pick a fucking team to save his life, can he? And then he just he magically they're better again. 
he picked the right team this year to stay with because there was rumors that he could have that he could have went to a uh, mm-hmm. that JDG was on one of those like short. And JDG list. got rookie that them are cooking if that's that might right. actually be do that might that but, be insane actually. But there's also rumors that he wanted to be on a team that was you know going against the top team. Yeah, I think he works better on teams with players that aren't trying to ask for as much. Yeah. Honestly. Because you, like, you do need players like that, but then again, yeah. that has its own set of issues too, honestly. All right. Uh, so we have – where's all the games coming up? Okay, so you have Fnatic versus Team Vitality. I want Fnatic to win. Please, Fnatic, please, for the love of God. Yeah. Pick a play style and stick with it. If for you have to play on the top LEC. side, please, please, Vitality. I do not want it to – by Vitality, go to MSI. Just actually just burn that studio. That whole I'm league right now at Fnatic to the other side. They might actually beat the record of shortest game. <laughs> if you get beat by G2 in 21 minutes, the fuck you think JG is going to do to you? Or BLG? Oh. We saw Fnatic last year. It's, it's, it's damn near the same fucking team, just minus... Uh, minus Trimby, yeah. Trimby. Yeah. And honestly, I think they'll do worse. Here we got. They got handily destroyed by LNG and BLG. LNG. The only, the only reason why it was close against Weibo is because guys, Weibo, Weibo was a fraud. But you know, that's just my opinion. Actually, like uh, I said, I, like I said, like like I said, the I fact that Weibo almost lost Weibo. to Fnatic, and Fnatic would have been top eight. It just, it's just like I said, I have more faith in Weibo. Weibo plays like that. That's how they. That's how they ever get to the finals. You think they're going to take the game away, and then they come back and win, like. Like, like, oh, even last because with TL it's different because Fnatic actually played hard teams to get to yeah. where they got to. That's why it made it a little bit more impressive. They played BLG, they played LNG. Yeah. This time around, if they go, they do know that they're doing a, they're doing the same song and dance. You have either between B- T1 Hanma Life. Let's be honest here, they're cooking them. Gen G, we know for sure is going to beat the shit out of them. BLG or any combination of these teams just crushes them. Honestly, exactly. So I'll have Fnatic. This is best of fives now. Yeah. So I'll do. Yeah. Uh, Fnatic. Fnatic just went three, 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 one. Just, just please, please. Uh, JDG versus Ninjas in Pajamas, Wednesday. Yeah, JDG versus NRP. Whoever, oh, whatever moves on to face uh, the loser. They'll be in the uh third place lower bracket round. Yeah. Yeah. They and the winner of top and BLG goes to MSI. Yep. Yeah. Auto invite to MSI, the other one. So this dropped. is an elimination round. Yeah. So if Rookie wants to get to MSI, he has to beat JDG. He's got to beat a combination of top and BLG. He, there's a good chance he beats JDG. There's a good chance. That's a good chance. So I don't know. He's top to BLG. Oh, no, no, he is. Oh, no. And our piece top later is so goddamn bad. Um, that top later is actual just shit. 369 is about the 369. Like, like, like. Like do the eight house stop on his ass. It's it's gonna be disgusting. Um, I I mean if I I, I want to see Ruler face off against Gen G. We didn't get a chance to see that last year. Hopefully yeah. it can happen at the, this year. I don't know if it's gonna happen with JDG. They're just they're, they're weaker. Yeah, like they're how do I explain it to people? They are still good if you're looking at just an overall sense, but it's just a weaker team that will definitely get because, handled by because don't forget, JD, don't forget, JDG lost two pieces, they lost uh yeah. three six nine as well. Uh, yeah, they yeah, because uh, if Ninja, I will say JDG wins, but if ninjas do win, I'm not surprised. I'll just say that. Well, I'm telling you this, it, it comes it, it comes down to rookie at uh. Fulton's gonna have to be out of the A game for this one. Zero, yeah. all right. Shaggy's gonna get like Shaggy and Aki are gonna get fifty. That's that's by JG. That's 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 that's, that's suspected. That's me. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like Top like, Esports versus BLG. I'm just gonna say BLG. That's just me. Like Flogger's been playing all right. This all right. Um, yeah. It literally, it, it literally just comes down to um, kind of just comes down to mid lane. If Rookie can actually have a big, impactful game like he did against FPX, it comes down to melee, but it also comes down to who, which, which juggler and which support they'll go missing. I know 
JG got to support Ashley Day missing, but he can't go missing this time. He can't. He 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 has to be stay seen because because Ruler can't do it by himself. Ruler and Gal cannot do it by himself. Um, All right, who we have next? Uh, we but okay. he, no offense. We whichever one he, either one of those makes it out. They're they're getting fucked because whoever wins out of Team Vitality and Fnatic, they face BDS. I feel like Fnatic. I want a G two. I want a G two Fnatic. Finals. That's what I want. Anything else? I guess that, what? We're about to get G two, G two BDS could be a three up. What if they actually bring it to five games close within this series? And it I, it I doubt. Happen. I doubt that would happen. But yeah, nah. there's so much. This, this constantly reminds me of the BLG JDG thing from last year. Yeah. But G two is just BDS's dad. That's just, that's just what it is. Honestly, no, well, definitely. Like, I, I think for storylines, it's better if it's G2 Fanatic, but if, if BDS makes MSI, just give G2 quadruple elimination. Just we, we'll stop doing this at this point. Just have BDS just go against the LCS like five or six times straight. Because I'm, I'm looking at all the top laters that Adam could go against. Um, mm-hmm. 369, Ben, um, Doran. Who's who's the JG's top laner again? Oh, Akeem. Akeem or Zayus. It's gonna be it's gonna be or Flaw J G. Or they use that. What's that young guy? Oh, that young guy they've been using. Okay, guys, that guy's not eighteen. Okay, I, I've been alive a lot longer than a Ooh. lot of you guys. That new top laner there, they they randomly use for JG sometimes. I forgot his name. That guy is not eighteen. No way. There's no way. Uh, for JDG, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I remember they did subbed out Flandre for that one kid. Oh, Sheer? Oh, no. He's, oh, no. He's like, I want to say Sheer 16, but after. Yeah, I did say he was 18. I was like, okay, Casters, you can stop lying to me. That's not 18. Oh, but, but the issue is the Chinese records get lost so, so often. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you know what's crazy, dude? You know why they, they can do this now? Guess where MSI is going to be? China. Yep. 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 That, oh god! Not okay. going to question you, you know. It's I'm telling right that I would be surprised if, if uh, BLG was. It's, it's, it's a, if this, I don't think even, even if T1 makes it, I think it's going to be T1 BLG in the finals. I, I, That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Be a weird, I, I got a weird feeling. Genji, show he's taking it all this year. Genji needs T1 to get there because dead. T1 gets the tougher teams first instead of JG. Because if Hobolife gets there, Hobolife could be JG. Could. I don't think they will, but they could. If Hobolife gets there, they're both getting fucked. Because they're. It's like shit. Because out of the LPL, honestly, I'd rather have. For me, I feel more comfortable with BLG and Top Esports going to MSI, not JG. Yeah, a lot of people. Are like, yeah, yeah. I'm telling right now, the war and, and you know, worlds gets four teams. I feel yeah. a couple with the four teams we have left go to worlds. That was like yeah. worlds because all four of these teams, all four of these teams we have are the strongest teams in the respective region and, and LPL. I think fifth strongest is FPX. Six is LG. You know, I think they're front. Seventh mm-hmm. is Weibo. Like, like, you know. Hmm. I, I think if I want the best MSI, kind of like we had it last year, that would be also pretty fucking funny if LCK yeah. wins and MSI's in China. That would be so hilarious. You know what's crazy, I, though? Yeah. Just look at, at uh, EMEA. Mm-hmm. Guess who Guess who won EM, EMEA? The whole, the whole thing. Carmen Corp? Yep. Big. Just that blows my mind too, dude. Because you know, it's crazy is they actually won ERLs as Carmen Corp. And they're like, you know what? That rostered. Nah. We'll just go yeah. and get fucking second. Yeah, cause yeah, cause yeah, cause yeah, cause there's no more La Liga French L L F L, right? Mm-hmm. 
There's no more LFL or they still LFL, LFL. No, those are all combined now into just one. Oh, okay. Cause I was like, yeah, because Carmine Court Blue was the last team to win LFL. And they beat T B D S Academy. It was like just go back and look at those, but it's like <sighs> for like I'll say the teams I want going are definitely Gen G T one BLGN top esports. Those would be yeah. four, I would say, honestly. For LEC, G2 Fnatic, just j- just send them. And let's be honest here, G- it's just G2 versus the world at this point, honestly. Yep. I mean, and the uh, it, it's, it's, it's LCS, you know. If they surprise, I I don't even know if this team's going to do any good either. These LCS teams are not interesting. Okay. Now we are going to go over the very last things, which are eating out Lennon's butt. No, I'm just kidding, oh. guys. Well, I have to entertain you guys while we do these things. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that covers everything, actually. Finals weekend coming up. Uh, yeah, can't wait to, for the splits to wrap up now at this point. I think LPL is going to be the week after it's going to be finishing. Yeah. So we have that to go over. And anything else you want to say, man, before we uh, head out, actually? Mason, Mason, I'm just hoping for a great series. Uh, G- G2 is going to win the split no matter what. It doesn't yeah, even G- matter. G2 is for sure a lock, honestly. Yeah. If G2 get upset by Fnatic or BDS or Team Vitality, I would be surprised. I would be I would be surprised I'd be sad a little bit because it's like, oh, shit. All right. And we are going to be wrapping this up here. Just want to say thank you guys for um, checking out this episode of the Cloud9 Podcast. Just a reminder, we are not going to have a show on this Thursday coming up, but we will be resuming the Cloud9 Podcast this the uh, not this uh, the Sunday coming up of this week as well. And make sure to check out my channel update video. I'll have a few pre-recorded videos uh, ready to go for you guys when I'm going to be taking my vacation uh, between Tuesday to Thursday. And it's been a blast talking League of Legends with you guys. And can't wait to see who will be the spring split champions for the LEC and the LCK. Hopefully be Gen G. Be nice to have four titles. And it'd be nice to also have G2 in as well. But you never know what's going to happen. Anything is possible. And I am ready for all those scenarios and to completely lose my mind when those scenarios may or may not happen. Thank you guys for catching the episode. Uh, Make sure you guys want to listen to the episode. Check out the episode on all of your uh, podcasting platforms. Type up Master Swag King. And then when you see the Iron Man podcast, the Cloud9 podcast, next to the icon with the yellow lion, that is the show to follow. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Have a great week, everybody. 